my lovely welcome to my channel here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs this is going to be for libra sun moon and rising as you guys can see here we've already shuffled the deck and pulled out the cards for time purposes so let's jump right into your reading libra let's see what spirit has for you guys for the month of september 2018 now for your element of air sorry your element of earth we have the six or sorry the seven of cups uh, the Seven of Cups definitely does talk about a lot of scattered type of energy. Uh, for some of you guys, this could be feeling like you're not grounded at all, um, taking unnecessary risk or making decisions very quickly and rapidly without really thinking or processing, uh, which is very unlike Libras to do that. So I do highly encourage you guys to do some type of grounding, whether it's meditation, uh, whether it's um, whatever it is that your practice is even prayer would help and assist you with the grounding uh, nonetheless again like i said the seven of cups definitely talks about having to make choice a choice uh, but refusing to do so because you have so many options now for the some of you guys that are single out there this could represent that uh, perhaps for some of you guys you were dealing with a water sign as we do have the queen of cups here a water sign would be a pisces cancer scorpio um but there was a lot of perhaps you weren't as putting as much effort into this relationship or this connection and this could have been having to do with the fact that you had a lot of options or perhaps uh, the water sign had a lot of options for some it could even represent that your partner or a person that you're currently dealing with that is a water sign may be dealing with the person from the past um, so that's the reason why you don't really know where you stand at the present time the Page of Swords definitely talks about the necessity or the feeling of stepping up and actually cutting this person out of your life or walking away. For some of you guys, it could represent that there has been recently um, some type of ending of communication or blockage. Uh, nonetheless, I feel, again, like I said, the Queen of Cups is a person that may be still dealing with the person from the past as we do have the Seven of Pentacles here. And the Seven of Pentacles is next to the Queen of Cups and right after uh, the Seven of Pentacles we have the Moon card so there is definitely a lot of hidden agenda a lot of things that are being kept from from you uh, or being hidden in regards to a person from the past um, and this could have to do with the fact that they themselves are not like they don't know if they would want to give the person from the past another opportunity um, so it's almost as if they're playing it safe by not being completely honest with you um, so they can string you along um, until they find the stability or the clarity in regards to the person from the past uh, so this is kind of that scenario of you know you're stringing them along because you're unsure yourself of if the relationship in fact will be able to rekindle or if they will be able to um, you know move forward in the relationship with the person from the past um again like i said the moon is a lot of things being unveiled a lot of things being hidden uh nonetheless things will come out in the open so again uh for those of you guys that are dealing with a water sign um you will be seeing all this play out for the month of september now for those of you guys that are currently single you may be dealing with multiple people, but I feel that the one of interest is that of the water sign. Again, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Nonetheless, if you feel that they're hot and cold, uh, meaning they communicate with you on every day, let's say, you know, the whole day, uh, texting back and forth, communicating or talking, and out of nowhere, like the next two days or something, they go missing. It has a lot to do with the fact that there is definitely a very prominent person in their life that is from the past. Uh, this person may not want to commit or they may not want to rekindle the relationship and because this water sign is unsure of where that's going to lead um, that's why they keep communicating and you know trying or letting you feel like they're trying to get to know you on a different level so my suggestion is be very wary of this water sign try the best you can not to put all your eggs in that basket <laughs> um now, for those of you guys currently that are dealing with um, a lot of confusion in regards to finances, if for some of you guys, it could be that the company you're working for at the present time, they may be cutting hours. Um, they may be calling you, you know, or calling 
calling you off uh, not to go in certain days or whatever. So there's a feeling of uncertainty there um, as a whole, as a whole general reading. There's a feeling of uncertainty and not knowing, you know, exactly where you're at or, or where you're going. Uh, nonetheless, all of this will play out for the month of September or by the end of the month of September. The Seven of Pentacles um, does represent, in regards to finances and business, it does represent um, them keeping you around or putting effort into keeping you or trying the best they can to give you more hours because they are they are aware of your hard work. Um, my suggestion is if, you know, if the... Um, the volume in regards to your business or your work, the company you work for has gone down. Just be a little bit patient as I feel that um, we are currently in the waning moon. Once we hit new moon, uh, things will start to clear up. Things will start to move forward in a positive aspect. So uh, just be patient with that. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe and we'll see each other soon. Bye.